Mm. Blue can't help you. Queso can't help you. Anybody come pick you up, big dog? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, in the news for Jack's I team obtains interrogation video during a local rapper's arrest. Hakeem Robinson is his name, and he is in jail on two separate first degree murder charges. The YouTube channel Crime Circus posted the interrogation video, and that has more than 100,000 views. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Crime Circus. My name is Drip Drop, and I'll be your host as always. I have another exclusive interrogation for you from Jacksonville, Florida. This is ATK Scotty33, AKA Leroy Whitaker, Queso's right hand man. Some have even alleged he's Jacksonville's deadliest shooter. But I'm not so sure about that because Owen Cosme has allegedly stacked up quite a few bodies himself. But this is not about Owen Cosme. This is about Queso's right hand man, Scotty, AKA Leroy. My last video went viral. And that's the first episode in this series. And if you haven't seen it, make sure you check out my last upload. It's titled Queso, the rapper from Jacksonville. Over 100 Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube channels stole my upload with my subtitles and all. No credit, no link backs, no shout outs. The only entity that asked for permission and gave a shout out was News 4 Jax. So shout out to Channel 4 in Jacksonville. To everybody else, all you did was rack up views and take food off my family's plates, and my family needs to eat. So I'd appreciate if you don't take my content, and if you do, at least give me a shout out and a link back. Because I spend a lot of time and money obtaining these videos, which is why I'm the only channel to have these videos. It took me over a year to obtain this series, and a lot of money. And I spend between 20 to 40 hours editing each and every single release before I upload it always enhancing the audio and hand typing the subtitles personally. Yeah, I do it all behind the scenes here at Crime Circus and I haven't had a day off in over a year. And I don't plan on taking any days off because this work is important. Anyways, Leroy AKA Scotty finds himself in the interrogation room with homicide and robbery detectives. We're gonna get to hear what he has to say for himself. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and please consider becoming my Patreon or YouTube member to help support me. Because this job ain't easy. And I know you like to be entertained and educated right here at Crime Circus. Now let's see what Scotty, a.k.a. Leroy, has to say for himself. Should be round, bro. And shooting in that room. Tuki got a flip phone. Man, he got the two for the con. Baby, I don't know. 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 Baby, I don't know
as quick as possible. What's a good phone number for you? Um, like, who for me? Like, my people are. Not for you, your cell phone number. I don't got no number. You got no cell phone? You got a house phone? Yeah. So, born 2019? Yeah. What's the last school you attended? Lee. Lee? Graduated? Mm -hmm. What's the last uh, grade? Ten. So you can read it right? Yes. You play football over at Lee? Mm -hmm. I ain't play football. I ain't play basketball? Nothing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. You under the influence of any drugs, alcohol right now? No. No? So you know where you're at right now? No. No? It's the police memorial building. We call it the PMB for short. Alright, so you say you can read and write. You can read this first line for me right here. You got a phone number on the United States. Customers. Constitution. I read it for you. It say uh, you have the following rights under the United States Constitution. You do not have to make a statement or say anything. Anything you say can't be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before you make a statement or before any questions are asked of you and to have a lawyer with you during any questioning. Mm -hmm. You cannot afford to hire a lawyer or be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. If you do answer questions, you have the right to stop answering questions at any time and consult with the lawyer. You understand your rights? Yes. So I need to get you to sign right here saying that you understand your rights. Of 
cold, man. Yeah. Let's see if we can get you out of here so you can, so you can warm up a little bit. All right, Leroy. You know why you in? You know why you in right now? No? Can't think of no reason why you're here? You have an idea, possibility, anything you can think of of why you would be here? Heard of any reason why you might be here? No? Okay. What about, uh, you remember anything happening in January that as to why you would be here? January? Yeah. The beginning of this year? No. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm not going to beat around. I ain't going to beat around the bush with you. I'm just be straightforward with you and be honest with you. I hope you'll do the same with me and just be honest with me. Yeah. You hear about that incident that happened with the light, the white lady in the house? Oh, right. Over in Arlington, the Arlington area. No. What? what? Hmm? Not what? It was a home invasion robbery. No. That's why. I said, it's best for you to be honest with me right now about the whole thing. Because no. if, it, if it was a mistake or you was in the house and you didn't know she was in there, that's one thing. But if you went in there and a robber or something like that, that's a totally different story. So that's why I want you to be honest with me. Tell your side of the story about what happened and why you was in the nigga house. No. Hmm? No, I don't know what you're talking about. I wouldn't have you in here about some BS. I ain't just gonna just pull you in here if, unless I got solid information letting me know that, hey, yeah, he was in this house. So this your time, just be honest about the thing. Tell me what happened. Uh, what made you think about what you talking about? If DNA was in there. Be honest with me, man. Tell me what happened. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Huh? You know what I'm talking about. Hmm? Don't let, don't let the evidence tell the story for you. This is your opportunity to tell your side of the story, the reason why your DNA would be inside this lady house. No, I don't know what you're talking about. DNA. You know how we get DNA? No. No? You can just touch something. Like, I just touched the table right there. And I left my DNA. So all we have to do is come later with a Q-tip swab right there in that area, and my DNA is gonna come back right here. So ain't necessarily from blood or spit and all that different kind of stuff you see on TV. Yeah. All you gotta do is touch something. Mm -hmm. So just keep it real with me, man. Tell me what you You don't know nothing about what I'm talking about? I wish I could help you. I can't help what you're talking about. Oh, now you ain't helping me. This is to help you. That's what I'm here for. To help you. You got for me? If you're telling me, if you can be honest about what, what happened with this, did you go in trying to rob the lady? Because it's different from a burglary and a robbery. But the story I got and the evidence I got we're going with home invasion robbery. Don't rob people, man. That's something crazy. See, that's 
See, that's why I need your side of the story. I know you have. That's why I need you to keep it real with me and tell me what happened. I'm telling you, I don't know what Something I don't know. I don't know. You say who? The tell who? Richardson. Take a, don't take the ride for a home invasion robbery without giving your side of the story about what happened. Because right now we got this lady side, and that's the only side they're speaking. What lady? That was in the house? Why you was in there? I don't know. She, but I got the wrong guy. So I'm being charged with a robbery and a home invasion? Yeah, home invasion robbery all together. Mm -hmm. Just gonna let the lady in the evidence speak for you. Did you speak for yourself? I don't know, man. Hmm? I don't know, man. I'm talking about robbery, man. I don't do no robbery. <clears throat> so what happened? Hmm? So what happened? If you don't do robberies, what happened? I don't know what I'm you. I don't do no robbery, so I don't know about no robbery. Robbing people, nah, man, they ain't even. I ain't never robbed nobody else. Mm -hmm. so, so when you went in there, did you think somebody was going to be in the house? <laughs> but you, all right. Well, I wanted to tell the house that. He still working? Mm-hmm. Oh. How you know? You going to go way back? Nah, he, he talked to me now, Tom. That's a bad person I talked to. I'm going to ask you a wild question. Who shot Charles McCormick or the six block dude who can't rap? Who? Uh, right there at Merrill Road by Dunkin' Donuts. You said somebody shot who? A dude named Charles McCormick.
don't don't take a ride without giving your side of the story, man. Because if if it's if it's something different to the story, that we need to get that from you and get your side of the story. Like I said, you're not helping me, man. Well, because you, you, I already got enough because I got a warrant for your arrest. So, I, oh, you're not helping me. This is to help you. And I know you, you might have heard that talking to other people, but I'm being legit with you. This is to help you. All right, man, <clears throat> to put it to you this way. I know you didn't shoot anybody that day. I know you weren't driving the car that day. I'll tell you that right now. Now, he's being nice and he's not playing with you. He has enough just without you not to say shit to put you away for who knows how long. We know you're there in one way isn't one. So he's literally trying to give you like a lifeline right here and you literally just kind of like spit in his face. So it's literally your best chance to tell him what you know. Or tell your side of the story. What story are you talking about? He's clearly asking how your DNA ended up on that uh, lady of the day at her house. You know the shit didn't just fall out of the sky, like you had to be there at some point, right? You said my DNA on, yes. on somebody? Yes. Leroy, can I call you Scotty? I know it's your nickname. All right, we we'll play that game too. <sighs> this happened back in January. We haven't been sitting on our hands, not working this case. We know a lot more than he's letting on. So literally, you sitting here not saying anything is really not helping you. You're literally the least culpable in all of this. It's sad that she's gonna sit here and try to take it. We ain't pick your name out of a random hat. Like, there's a reason we knew you were there. We can prove you were there. And we can keep going in the circles all day if you want to. So what's up, man? Mm. So what's up? What happened? I don't, know what's, I don't know what happened before why y'all went and laid the house. But what happened while y'all was inside the house? Oh, y'all. Come on, man. You already know what I'm talking about. You already know I done talked to the other person that was with you. I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping. I'm telling you what I know.
I especially like the part where you bust your ass coming with that fence. I do love that. Mm -hmm. There's a camera in someone's backyard. It caught y'all going over fences, and I believe you're the one that busted his ass. That was him that fence? Yeah, that was him. What? You jumped a fence like, there, like it was a hurdle, and like a lot of people hit or jump hurdles, you didn't make it. And your back right leg got clipped, and you did a roll. Like, you busted your ass a little pretty hard. But you got up and took it like a champ. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, you you took that shit like a champ. You got up quick. Scotty, you can't even look at us and tell us in our faces and say we don't have the right guy because we know we got the right guy. Because every time we ask you something that you want to answer, you look right down that floor. Ain't that ain't nothing down there. Trust me, the truth gonna stay right here. He tell man telling you the truth. This shit ain't going away. I got a better chance to hit the lottery than your DNA end up in a random place on some woman. I don't know. Alright man, well Blue ain't gonna pick you up this time, I know that. Mm. Blue can't help you, Queso can't help you, ain't nobody come pick you up big dog. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, 904-803, I forgot the rest. I know who's registered to, I can prove whose phone it was at the time, I can prove who had it at the time. Had what? A cell phone. It, Bro, you know your old number, that shit got cut off February 5th. I don't got no phone. Yeah, I know, because your mom turned it off. Now, how I knew that? Come on, bro. I don't know what y'all <laughs> All right. Your mom already told us whose phone number it was when we asked her about it. When we came to your house looking for you, because now you know about that. Time to be. Yeah, about 11.22. Special story that you keep into? You don't know what we're talking about? I don't know. What is it? I told you, you ain't, you're not helping me, man. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing to help with me. This to help you right now. You know the difference between a robbery and a burglary? Yeah. You know the difference between a robbery and a burglary? Yeah. You know? So robbery. Say home invasion robbery. You going in with the intent to commit some type of crime. Like you going in with the intent to steal something out the house, uh, to beat somebody up. Burglary, you going into a structure a house that don't belong to you. You might not have the intent to rob nobody or hurt nobody, nothing like that. But you're just going in, maybe to get away, I don't know. <laughs> There's a difference. And your story can, can probably decipher between the two when it comes to this incident. Like, what was your intention? We can only get that from you as far as what your intention was when you went in. Yeah. I never robbed nobody. Touch it. Just told it All right, so what happened? What you mean what happened? What, what you keep talking about happened? Just told you, man. Trying to help out, man. I don't know. I told you you're not helping me, man. This is for you. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. 
Flügel. So you good whatever whatever come about with this without giving your side of the story? I don't know what y'all don't know with that, but y'all I'm talking about me and with y'all, whatever y'all I'm good. Good. That's all I want to ask me. You all got some more questions to ask me. Let's play more with action, but you ain't going to be honest about nothing. So it makes sense that actually you ain't going to be honest. Your DNA not going to just end up in a random lady house that don't even know you, never seen you a day in her life? I'm sorry, what'd you say? No, I'm talking about the lady. She said it wasn't no more. Who's Lenora? Hmm. Who's Lenora? The tattoo on y'all. Who is that? That's what it say, Lenora? Who is that? I don't know who my mom is. That's my mom. Oh, I, I probably should ain't know for real. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't. My mom, man. You got any other new tattoos besides the Donald Duck on your right arm? Who? The, uh, on your inside of your right arm, do you have any other new tattoos? No. I need to get some more them. You gonna go for a sleeve on that right arm or what? Yeah. What should we do the face tats for? Mm. A lot of face tats. I never understood that. They interesting. Like people know like tattoos on the face. I don't know. Like Shit looks painful. So you gonna get some more in your face? No. Uh -uh. Those hurt worse. Mm -hmm. Which one hurt worse? No, I don't know. Probably on the back of the back of your neck.
You know that cat right now? You don't want him? Never seen him before? Hmm? Never seen my day in your life? You don't know him? So that's the story he's sticking to. You don't know what I'm talking about? No reason why your DNA would be in an old white nigga house that you've never seen before. Work on houses? Anything you want to add? So you didn't do it, you weren't there, and you don't know nothing about that. That's what you want to go with. Sounds like a denial. That's sad. I'm tired of seeing the black guys throwing their eyes away from me. Good fucking reason. Too young to be done, bro. Too young. 19 had a whole life of petty. Don't let nobody else speak for you. As a man, you always speak for yourself. Don't let nobody else, uh, evidence and all that speak for you. Just man up and speak for yourself. That's what I say. Don't let nobody else speak for you, bro. If your reason for going in the house is one thing, hey, say, man, that's, that was my reason. If it's something else, then say that. Don't just sit here and take whatever's thrown in your lap. That's what I say. You're 19, you're grown now, so... You have to make your own decisions. So we can't make it for you. So you just gonna take what's being thrown in your lap? Hmm? 
You're right. You're going to just take what's being thrown in your lap? You're not going to give your side up? Yeah. You're not going to give your side up? I ain't got no side. Because I don't want to talk about it. Appreciate you stopping. Old oh, old boy from glass and that cop. I do appreciate that. Uh huh. So I appreciate you stopping old boy from glass and that cop. I do appreciate that. Congratulations, you've just made it to the end of episode number two in this Jacksonville Rapper series. Episode one featured Queso, widely stolen on the internet. Subtitles hand typed by me, with only one error, and that was because of autocorrect spell check. I missed it. Anyways, everybody's presumed innocent until proven guilty. Leave me a comment down below and let me know who you want to hear from next. There are other players in this case. Other Queso associates. These things take time for me to put together because like I said in the intro, they take between 20 and 40 hours of editing and improvements before I release each one. Because I don't just upload raw interrogation videos, that would be really bad and embarrassing. And I don't like to be embarrassed. So I try my hardest to give you the best subtitles, best audio, best intros, outros, and I try to be the best educational entertainment on all of YouTube. If you want to support me, please check out my Patreon or YouTube membership. Your support goes a long way because these videos cost a lot of money to obtain. Anyways, you'll be seeing me again sooner than you think because I never stop working. I don't take days off. All I do is edit videos for you, the viewer. Leave me a comment down below. Do you think Scotty is innocent? Do you think Scotty's guilty? Should he snitch on Queso if he knows anything about Queso? Should he pull a 6-9? Anyways, until next time. Remember to stay safe out there because you know it's a dangerous world.